Hey everyone, it's Caitlin and welcome to another video. In this video, I'm going to be sharing my favorite oil-free vegan snacks with you all. So I've already made a video about why oil isn't healthy and why I generally don't eat it in my diet. So if you haven't seen that, you can watch that right here. But basically, oil is not a health food, so whenever possible, I try to avoid it. And I find that this is especially hard within the packaged food and snack industry. Usually when you buy food from the grocery store or you buy like health bars and things, they usually come with oil in it, which is very contradictory for me. And I've definitely had problems finding snacks that are oil free. However, throughout being vegan, I have come across a few brands that I really enjoy and some snacks that I absolutely love. So I thought I would share all of those with you guys because you might find it helpful. And I'll link either the product or the company website below in the description of this video for everyone who's interested. I have some sweet foods, I have some savory foods, and then I also have a few like snack bars that are healthier. Also, obviously I advocate a whole foods plant-based diet. So I think the majority of your calories and most of your meals should be coming from whole plant foods. And I try to avoid processed foods as much as possible. However, sometimes you just want to have a snack and it's completely okay to treat yourself to some packaged vegan food every once in a while. And these are definitely the healthier options. And also sometimes people are just pressed for time and they may not have time to like pack a meal and they just wanna grab a snack and run out the door as well. So hopefully this video will be helpful for for you. Without further ado, let's get into it. Okay, so first I'm going to start with sweet food. I feel like oil-free sweet food is a lot easier to find, but I'm still going to share my favorites with you all. So the first thing are these mango and ginger chews by Chimes. I actually got these at Trader Joe's, but I am absolutely addicted to these. I love ginger and it's sort of a chewy ginger candy and it's made from tapioca starch and cane sugar. There's no oil at all. It's slightly spicy from the ginger, but it's also sweet from the mango and they're super addicting. To continue with the mango trend and Trader Joe's, um, I'm obsessed with this Trader Joe's chili spice mango. I've talked about it multiple times, but it's just dried mango and it's coated in some sugar, salt, and chili flakes. And it's just a great snack if you're ever craving something slightly salty, sweet, or spicy. I don't know, it can cover all the bases of your cravings. So I'll eat like a few pieces of these whenever I just want to munch on something. Okay, so the rest of the sweet snacks are in the form of bars, like energy bars or granola bars. And I just think granola bars are a very nice, compact way to carry a snack. I always keep at least one or two in my backpack in case I'm in an emergency situation and I get really hungry and I just need a snack. So these are the ones that I've found that are oil-free. So the first brand I'm going to talk to you about is called Amrita Bars, and they have a variety of flavors. These are just three that I have with me right now. They all come in a variety of fruits. So this one is a pineapple chia bar. This one is an apricot strawberry bar. And then they also have one protein bar. It's chocolate maca flavored. And oh my gosh, guys, this tastes like a fudgy brownie. I'm not even kidding. Try chopping this up and putting it on your smoothie bowls and your life will be changed forever. But yeah, I really like the bars and the people behind this company. They're really nice. And these bars are free from like the top, um, I think eight allergens, which is really good if you have kids and you're packing their school lunch or whatever, but they're gluten-free, dairy-free obviously, peanut-free and soy-free as well. My next bar that is oil-free is Lara Bars, and these are just fruit and nut bars. They usually have pretty minimal ingredients, which I appreciate. For example, I think their cherry pie one only has dates, cherries, and almonds, which is awesome that they're sticking to whole foods. These bars are a little denser, but I do really enjoy them as well, and I also think they may be a little bit easier to find. I know most Target sell them, and I think Trader Joe's has them as well. These next bars I just encountered recently, and it's a smaller brand, but these may be my favorite bars. I just think the flavor combinations are so cool. They're called Yugo bars, and I think they currently have four flavors. So they have a cherry cacao flavor, a peanut and cacao flavor, a sweet and salty flavor, which is really unique. And then they have a coconut date flavor, which is actually probably my favorite. They put some cardamom in here, which if you aren't familiar with, is sort of an Indian spice. And I love cardamom, and I've never seen it in a bar before. I just think these are so creative. They're smaller too, which I appreciate. And I just think the flavors are so good. And then another interesting thing about these bars is that some of them also contain dehydrated cane juice, which is actually more nutritious than cane sugar, which I thought was pretty interesting. And one small caveat, technically speaking, these aren't 
oil free they all use dried cranberries and the way most cranberries are processed they're processed with a little sugar and oil so they don't stick together but the oil that is actually on the cranberries is so negligible and i promise it's contributing to like zero percent of the total fat in these bars so i basically consider them to be oil free and you should too Okay, and then my final sweeter food for this video are That's It bars. So these bars are awesome. The original line is just made with an apple and one other fruit. My favorites are definitely the apple and cherry one and the apple and mango one, but all of them are really good. You really can't go wrong. Um, and these are great snacks, and these would be considered a more high-carb, low-fat snack because none of them have any fat at all. Except I think there might be an apple and coconut one, so that one may have a little bit of fat. But they also just came out with a new line called That's It Zesty Bars. So it's an apple, a fruit, and a spice. And I love these bars. They are like my favorite combination of spices. I almost want to be like, did you guys make these specifically for me? But anyways, they have three flavors. I have two of them on me right now. This one is apple, mango, and chili. And then this one is apple, pear, and ginger, which is so good. And then the other one is just an apple cinnamon bar, which is really delicious as well okay so now that we finished with the sweet snacks i'm going to move on to savory snacks sometimes i feel like savory snacks are a lot harder to find oil free because usually they're more processed and i don't know i just does anyone know why there's always oil someone needs to market oil free potato chips and i would be all over those so my first oil-free snack are these Mary Gone Crackers. Crackers? Um, they have a variety of flavors. These are everything flavored and they're so good. And they also have like classic, a basil one, I think. But they're really good snacking crackers and they're really light and crunchy, which I really appreciate. I think they're good for dipping into hummus or bringing to a party or even putting some vegan cheese on top of them if you feel like that. And these are organic, gluten-free, whole grain, and vegan, so yay! They also have some pretzels, which are oil-free, and I would show you those, but when I bought them, I ate them so fast because they were so addicting, so yeah, get the pretzels too. So this next stack I've seen popping up at Whole Foods recently, and the brand is called Rhythm Superfoods, and they have kale chips. Most kale chips are oil-free, I would say, but these are really cool because they come in different flavors. This is the original flavor. But they also have a ranch one and a few other flavors too. I can't think of them off the top of my head. But these are really good and they're a nice snack to take with you and a healthier alternative to potato chips. And then another cool thing about this brand is they actually have broccoli bites too, which I have never seen before. And I thought this was so ingenious. So it's basically still like a kale chip. It's just dehydrated broccoli and then it's coated in the same seasoning mix. And these are the ranch flavor and let me tell you guys, they do taste like ranch in the best way possible except they're cruelty free. So my next tip for oil-free snacking is chips and salsa. Now most salsas at the grocery store should be oil-free, but I would always just check the ingredients just in case. My favorite are like black bean and corn salsas. This one is from Trader Joe's, it's called Cowboy Caviar. However, most people don't get tortilla chips that are oil-free. And like I said, there really aren't tortilla chips that are processed for you that are oil-free. However, you can make your own. So I just buy corn tortillas at the grocery store that don't have any oil in them. And then I chop them up and just put them in my oven at 400 degrees and I probably bake them for like 5 to 10 minutes but I just watch them and the ends will curl up and get slightly golden brown and that's when you know that they're done and they'll still be slightly crispy and it's just like a tortilla chip but it's completely oil free and delicious. In case anyone is curious, these are the tortillas that I buy. Um, I hope you can see the package. They're almost empty so it's kind of like bent. But just check the ingredients. I think there are a few brands out there that sell oil-free corn tortillas. And then my final snack isn't really a processed food, but it's to make your own microwave popcorn. So I just buy unpopped popcorn kernels and I keep them in this glass jar. And you can actually make your own microwave popcorn and you don't need any oil at all. All you do is pop this in a brown bag and microwave it for a few minutes. And you can toss some seasonings on it, add some hot sauce, add some like maple syrup and make some kettle corn, whatever you want. I actually have a video on how to make your own oil-free popcorn so i will include that in the description of this video as well for those of you who are interested and that's it guys those are all of my oil-free snacks that i've discovered so far that i truly enjoy if you have any tips or some oil-free snacks that you really like leave them down in the comments below to help some other people out i hope you enjoyed this video and i will talk to you later bye mm -hmm.